So some of you guys might be wondering why I don't have my intro in here. But uh, the reason being is because I'm going to be sharing this video with the community channel Dead Pixel HQ. So uh, first of all, before I get into this video and stuff like that, I want to first take the time to thank them for this opportunity. But of course you've probably seen this on my channel as well as their channel. So uh, let's just get into this thing. Before, oh, yeah, before I do anything else, I want to get into just a little tiny introduction of me for those who either are new to my channel or on Dead Pixel who don't know who I am. My PSN name is Spartan Warrior 5. Uh, I do gaming videos. I don't specifically lock on to one game. I tried doing a variety of different games on my channel. Fail. But, um,. That's about it. You know, I don't like the videos that just draw on about who they are. I'm just an average Joe. Yeah, I'm no one big. I'm no one special. So if you guys like my content, you can come on over to my channel and see what I got going. But uh, let's get into the meat potatoes of this video, shall we? Let's talk about the Call of Duty community. And now, a lot of people are thinking, oh, Call of Duty, this game sucks. Blah, yada, yada, yada. You know, but I actually want to go in a little bit deeper actually talk about what's been going on with Call of Duty these past few years because I mean it's pretty utterly ridiculous I mean first of all this this series Call of Duty has been probably the number one selling shooter game on the market today I mean some people might argue with me that it's Halo that it's Battlefield but I mean if you really look at it the amount of sh the sheer amount of people that play this game is unbelievable there are so many people who play this game but even though that it has so many people buying this game there are so many people who hate this game you know people go out and buy it they play it and then they go oh my god this game sucks you know this game's terrible but the thing is they keep playing it and to me that makes no sense you know I mean if you don't like a game if you think it's bad if you think there's problems with it then why play it why not just bring it back to GameStop to wherever you bought it from and get your money back, you know? It's just something in the minds of the Call of Duty community that just says, keep the game, go through all the things that make you rage, and wait for next year's Call of Duty, you know? I mean, that's it's kind of like clockwork, this whole community. It's, you know, you wait for the new multiplayer trailer release, everyone goes nuts and goes, says, oh my god, this looks like the greatest Call of Duty game ever, fuck yes. But then when they get the game and get their hands on it and actually get to play it, it's like, oh my god, this game is terrible. Why did I even buy this game? Yada, yada, yada. It's the same shit. It's the same bullshit. But every year, when there comes time for the Call of Duty multiplayer release trailer, they say, oh my god, this game looks awesome. I'm totally going to get this game. But then when they actually get it, it's like, this is a terrible game. And I don't get it, you know? I mean, you say this every year, and yet... You don't do anything about it, you know? You don't try to break the cycle. You don't try to stop. You know it's going to be the same stuff every year, but yet you still buy it. And I'm I'm curious about this, you know? Because, I mean, it's like you can't stand up and actually think for yourself. It's almost like a brainwashing that's going on here because, I mean, that might be a little bit of an extreme statement there, you know, to say, oh my god, Call of Duty is brainwashing everyone. But, I mean, I mean, think about it, you know? People, every year, it's a complete cycle. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer release trailer just released. And everyone's been going, oh my god, this game looks awesome. It looks great. Of course, there are some trolls who are saying, oh my god, this game looks shitty and stuff like that. But it's been, you know, the same thing every year. And now, once Black Ops 2 releases, guess what? It's going to be slow-paced. It's going to be bad. It's going to be the same things. Similar killstreaks to previous games. Similar guns. The list is going to go on and on. You know, I guarantee it. In the commentary, people are going to rage. In commentaries, they're going to be complaining about all the different things that they've noticed that's either similar or, you know, they add some things that they don't like. It's going to happen. You know, I mean, it's a guarantee. I would put money on this, you know, that people would be complaining, bitching, doing all this stuff because of the game. And yet, when Modern Warfare 4 comes out, you know, if it ever does come out afterwards, it's going to be the same thing. You know, I would put money on that, too. You know, the first single-player trailer is going to release, and they're going to be like, all right, yeah, this game is okay. But then when the multiplayer trailer releases, it's going to be like, oh, my God, this game looks amazing. Oh, this game is going to be the best Call of Duty ever. 
when the game releases. Oh my god, this sucks. Oh my god, this is garbage. Why am I playing this? You know, it happens every year. And I'm just thinking to myself, why? Why do we do this to ourselves? And even still, I mean, <laughs> it's just the whole community in general, we all kind of just sort of hate each other, you know? I mean, we're not really out to sort of help each other out, get better at the game. We're just posting up these gameplays, you know, any other person who strictly plays Call of Duty and likes to abuse YouTube will just post up these gameplays for their own personal benefit. You know, we don't really provide strategies anymore. We don't provide, you know, personal tips anymore. I mean, you see T. Martin and all those other guys provide tips, but, I mean, those guys, I highly doubt. You know, because, I mean, Wings of Redemption posted on his vlog video that they each combined have 10 days played on this game. And this game has been out for months now. You know, I mean, that's highly illogical that someone has had only a few days played on this game. Heck, I don't even know how many I have played on this game. I don't know if it's that many. Because I play other games, you know. I don't strictly play Call of Duty. I'm not a model for three tips and trips guy. I'm just the average dude. So, and, you know, speaking of T. Martin and Raw Instinct, that's another thing I've been noticing as well with this community, is paranoia. Ever since... The Raw Instinct deal, ever since that whole live streaming BS that happened with Run Support for me, everyone on Call of Duty videos has to say, Alright guys, this is uh, Joe Schmo, and uh, today I'm going to bring you guys a 25 kill streak Moab. And uh, I didn't ask my friends to run support this game, but I didn't ask anyone to run support. And this is my video, you know, this is, uh, this is Joe Schmo commentating, this is not anyone else's video. And it's so, like, seriously, we honestly have to be doing this? I see this with so many people where they're like, yeah, I had some friends playing with me, but I didn't ask them to run support. Who cares? You know, I mean, does it, is it honestly, you know, if you ha honestly think that you're going to have to say this out of just straight up paranoia that you're going to get hate mail and stuff like that, if you didn't have people run support for you, then who, I mean, why do you have to care and say that, you know? Why can't you just be like, hey guys, it's me, I'm going to post up another Call of Duty video. Get on with it, you know? It's, to me, I mean, it's a, the little things that bother me. You know, that's something that I've noticed about myself. The little things bother me. And when you have to go in and say, oh, this is uh, completely legit, this is my video, you know, this is uh, a complete, you know, utterly me video without any help from my friends, that's sad. You know, I mean, I remember a time back way when where we didn't have to worry about this shit. You know, you posted your content. It was your gameplay. It was, you know, just strictly you. It wasn't any worries about, oh, I got to tell these people that I had, you know, my friends not run support for me or that this is my content. You know, I mean, it's, it's really sad, you know, and I guess the community kind of really does deserve some of the hate that it's been getting because, I mean, we're... I don't really like to affiliate myself with this community, you know, even though I've been pretty much kind of doing that this whole video, I really try and stay in sort of a gaming community as a whole, not just in a first-person shooter community, not just in a Call of Duty community, not just in a Battlefield community, but in a gaming community, and I kind of lost my point here, but the fact of the matter is the Call of Duty community really is starting to get a little bit greedy. You know, they're all about that YouTube money. They're all about getting those Moabs for days. And it's just, whatever happened to helping each other out, you know? And I know this sounds really sappy. I know this sounds, you know, ridiculous. But, I mean, I, I remember a time when we used to be able to, you know, upload what we wanted to and be able to actually unite as friends, as, you know, other players... And actually help each other out. And I kind of miss those days, you know. But uh, that's all the time we have here today, guys. For those of you who are watching on my channel, thanks for uh, watching again. For those of you on uh, the community channel, thank you guys for watching. And maybe check out my channel. And if you guys like my content, maybe tell the uh, other directors have uh, me upload again. But uh, other than that, guys, I'll talk to you all soon.